Hey, welcome back. It's your favourite YouTube idiot. So, as you might have guessed it, I am shooting Street Candy ATM 400. I actually took this roll with me as I went down south to uh, see a couple of friends. I think I could call them friends. Um, and for some weird reason, I was saving it purely because I absolutely loved the packaging, which Street Candy did something right because their packaging is 100% recyclable. So the ATM in Street Candy, can anybody guess what that means? And I'm saying that like I'm expecting a response. So it's actually made from security surveillance film, which was used in ATMs. And it has now, by Street Candy, been repurposed for 35 millimeter, which you have to admit, that's pretty cool. Wait, can you see my dirty dishes? So a big shout out to my guy at Negative Space Lab, who by chance we just started talking on Instagram. And now he's developing my film roles for me and has provided absolute incredible service for me. So big shout out to those guys. Also a big note for anyone who's wanting to develop street candy. It is incredibly thin. So as the legend at Negative Space Lab told me, it is incredibly difficult to scan these negatives on a sort of flatbed scanner. Not only did he inform me of this, he actually went out and bought a brand new scanner and rescanned my negatives to make sure everything was perfect. Now, if that isn't service, I, I don't know what is. So big shout out there. So on my trip south, I stopped off at Leicester and spent the night there adventuring the city. So on with seeing my photographs. Yay! deadly honest with you I've messed this up <laughs> like I know the ISO settings were fine and I know that like all my aperture like my exposure was all done but I think I've opened up the back of my camera and exposed my film to light <laughs> because throughout the whole of this film is a huge light leak just all on one side and it is Disgusting. I have tried my best to hide it with very minimal editing. Um, so this video is going to be cut quite short um, as I've cut a lot of these photographs out because I'm sure that you don't want to look at grey pictures of just turds. It's just like I've turded all over this and turded. <laughs> Basically, I I'm <laughs> really sad about this photograph because the main reason why I took it was because of the dude up in the top window but you can't see it Lightroom so that's purely because I can't afford it I'm lower class I'm northern so editing has been kept very much to a minimal if you want to suggest any editing software for me to use please feel free but just be kind about it in other words don't be a dick not everyone can afford all the latest 
software and stuff. Just chill out. Actually super annoyed that these photographs did not come out as I imagined. I'd seen online a bunch of examples of street candy and they look delicious. But I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely tried to think about my shots before taking them and I tried to take my time and do things correctly. I mean, granted, I had had a couple of pints, so hey, hey, I'm only human. I'm sure we've all done this, being disappointed in your end results, and that's just all part of learning photography, I guess, especially in analog photography. It's just all part of the game. However, I am gonna sulk now and just let the rest of the video play out because I'm talking too much. Use ones. And f you little metal thingy thing. That is. And f you graffiti. Wait, how have I spelt graffiti? You've spelt it graphite. <laughs> how have I spelt graffiti so wrong? I've got a hot pot cooking at the moment, so it stinks pretty badly now. Street Candy have done everything right. They've got a pretty cool story behind their film stock. Their packaging and like marketing is all fantastic and you know, they're sustainable. So they've got the recyclable canisters. So just needs to get in that right hands and then take those good photographs just to put that cherry on the top. So I guess another film roll added to the list of film rolls to reshoot, which this is what this channel is all about. It's about my experience. You don't get it right first time. Every time you make mistakes, you learn from them. So I'm gonna shoot it again. Maybe not in Leicester, but I will get it and I will master it and I will create some lovely photographs. So stay tuned for that. Go check everything out in the links below if you're interested in film and development. And so that's another video done. I don't know what the f I did then. Also, shout out, like, does anyone else leave their bananas to go a bit more brown? Because, like, they're so much better when they're soft. Everyone thinks I'm weird. That's why I've had to hide them off the screen. I don't know whether you saw the last video, but there was a bit of advice that I said 
Um, always make notes. If you want to learn about photography, make notes. So this is my uh, my little notepad now, um, which I've taken everywhere with me. Shout out from photography. Go on, lads. Um, and let me read the notes that I took from, uh, from my trip to Leicester. So June 2022, Street Candy. I love the packaging for this roll. True. Load it up. I loaded it up and visited Leicester to shoot some street candy. That's pretty self-explanatory, to be honest. Um, I walked around and tried to learn about composition and shoot more portrait. Yeah. And that's everything I wrote. <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't know whether that was due to drinking beers and I just thought, f*** it. But there you go. Yeah. Idiot.